got some uh, wood here. Gonna just get a small fire going using my uh, Zippo Typhoon gigantic match case here. We got a striker on the bottom. There it is. Shiny. Seems like it's a pretty hot flame here. Nice. All right, so I thought I'd try to simulate a situation in which we drop the match in the snow. I've got some good wet snow today. All right, so the match is going. All right, let's see what it does. All right, and you can tell it's in the snow and it's still burning. Actually, it's like melting away the snow. Okay. It's actually pretty cool. So again, I could drop this match in the snow while I'm building a fire. See if I smother it here. Look at that. It's still burning. This thing is still going. Nice. We're going to be having some rain on and off again all day today. And I wanted to see what this Typhoon match would do inside just if it's left out in the weather. So we're gonna go back in a couple of hours and uh, see what it does. I'm gonna actually take my Nelgene here and we're gonna jumpstart the match by giving good doubts. Then when the rain comes, we'll see uh, what it does. Uh, time is right now. 11.05, we'll see. All right, so it's uh, about 14.20. So this is, that match has been out here in the rain for, oh, about three hours off and on. Um, looks a little bit damp. I'm just gonna actually wipe it on my sleeve. And I got the uh, end here, Let's see what it does. First one didn't go. Nope. All right. So I wonder if that's been totally waterlogged. We're gonna dry this off a little bit. I'm gonna try it on the side here. No. So that Kind of failed this test, didn't it? After being waterlogged for that long, uh, that match did not take, did not want to light off this. Um, let's see if it lights on fire. Set that case down. All right, so yeah, all that yellow part has worn off and I'll try lighting it with one of my lighters here. Smoking, there it goes. All right, so that's a pretty good, you know, that's still that intense flame. Doesn't be as sparkly, but So after being really waterlogged, it still does light on fire.
All right, it's a pretty uh, windy day down here in the gorge. See all these light in the rain? In the oh, they actually did light. I thought it didn't light, but it actually did. That wind, you can tell it's burning down a lot faster. Which makes sense, I guess. I just gotta let it burn down, I guess. Water's cold. All right, so I wanted to run a simulation where I, uh, I dropped my match on the, the ground while it's snowing here, and uh, I knocked my Nalgene over on top of it. All right, so do it just like we would. We're going to just gonna kind of dry it off in my hand here a little bit. Sometimes that gasket is tough to get off. All right, so lit right up. Okay, oh, I dropped my match on the ground. Okay, it lit right up. All right, see if we can get our our tinder going here. Nice. The matches are so hot; they light those fuzz sticks right up. Love the fact you could be trying to light your fire, you drop it in the snow and pick it right up. Now on to the Typhoon match case itself. Again, this is the biggest match case I've ever owned. Um, because it's so large, that's that's kind of a it's a good thing because the matches are long. It's the only match case that would fit a match that long. Um, but it weighs about two and a half ounces empty. Uh, when I load it all up, it's going about 3.8 ounces. That said, this is pretty much guaranteed to get a fire started. And because it's so big, if you put your matches in, you alternate them. So upside, downside, you can fit more matches in here. Uh, I think I've got nine matches in here, which is plenty. And I have, a uh, room for three of the uh, UST wet fire tinders. I also stuck an extra match pad in the cap. That's inside plastic. Again, this thing is waterproof. It floats, which is awesome. I like the fact that it has a cover over the striker pad. Uh, again, this is a striker pad I've been using the whole time. And it's not ready to be replaced yet. You can replace these, no problem. It's just sticky tape. So again, that cover keeps it protected so it doesn't wear off. Uh, probably the one improvement that I did make to it 
is I added some of this this glint tape, this reflective tape to the side of it, just so it's a little bit more reflective at night. It'll it'll pick up the shine a lot easier. Uh, I also added a long lanyard to it. Uh, this is Kelty Triptease cord, which again is a reflective cord. This thing I'm, I'm getting in the winter here. Uh, you drop that in the snow, that's heavy. It's going to sink to the bottom, and this cord will be up at the top. So again, if I drop it in the snow, I'm going to be able to find my, my, my match case. Now again, for my purposes, this is a good standalone item. Uh, I'm getting away from carrying a survival kit, uh, which I'm going to do that in a later video why I'm getting away from carrying a kit. Um, but I still carry all my essentials. And this is a, a nice, large, easy to use container um, that I can throw into my pack for emergency fire starting. All right, so I've been using this Typhoon match case and matches from Zippo uh, for about the last month and a half. It's gone backpacking, lots of hiking trips, lots of field testing here. And this is kind of my, my final overview. The matches are really cool. Again, look how long they are. These things burn between 20 and 30 seconds every time I've lit them. Um, such a nice long burn, you wouldn't have a problem starting pretty much any fire with just one match. Uh, they do, you can douse them in water, you can drop them in the snow, they'll still keep on going. And that's pretty awesome. One reason I like the fact they're so big is when your hands get cold, you start getting hypothermic, you lose all your fine motor controls. This nice big match, look how you can grab onto it with your full hand and strike it. And that's, that's a, a pretty nice uh, way of, of making this match. Now kind of the, the downfall of this match is that it is so long burning that it probably, it's not good for things like stove lighting. Right, because it only takes a second to light your stove and guess what? Now, now you're sitting here, you're waiting for your match to burn out. So if you're lighting your stove, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Again, it's for good for fire starting, especially for emergency fire starting kits. Um, and the only other downfall I can think of is that it tends to be a little bit stinkier than regular matches. Not a huge thing, but uh, maybe for some of the hunters that are looking for odor control, it is a little bit smellier.